it is a great pleasure to have to welcome you all here in uh, Munich at uh, the GND premises, Gisek and Devriant. And I can say you are exactly at the right place because creating confidence and trust is in DNA of Gisek and Devriant. And uh, here also a warm thank you to Mr. Ralf Gindergast, the CEO of Gisek and Devriant, and for the pleasure to have you here that we are here. Thank you. Uh, before we coming also the other parts, uh, I would like to uh, have some special guests named uh, and first of all, or thank you very much, uh, Judith Gerlach, uh, the State Minister of Digitalization here. She will say it's a welcome here. And I think cybersecurity and uh, Munich and Bavaria, they fit together. They just go, go good together. And of course, um, Dr. Kaiser, Vice President of the LSI here, Dr. Norbert um, Heider here from the State Ministry of uh, Economics and so on. So the list is long uh, and uh, I would spare the time to welcome separately and would like just to welcome you all here in Munich and Bavaria. And uh, as opening, I would like to give you some review we are here at the Concordia Open Door, the EU project Concordia. And um, as you see, the leaders of boosting cybersecurity in Europe are coming together here. Uh, and maybe if I get the next slide, uh, then I can also give you a little bit of um, feedback where we can. A moment, I just take this one. So, as you see, uh, we started the project 2019 and it was the kickoff here in Munich. And then uh, the next part, we had a great General Assembly in Vienna, also in 2019. The next part was also, we were in Brussels, in the Bavarian representative there, and you see how many we are, we were there. So, it was a lot of people. Uh, and nevertheless, we had a great first review meeting in Brussels. You see all the smiling faces here because we got an excellent for the evaluation. So everybody was happy. And what came then? It was the pandemic. So everything stopped actually and we had to move to virtual discussions and parts. And uh, if I give you the idea of how big we are, it's difficult not to have present meetings, not to have direct interactions. We started with 42 partners and um, we had 16 million funding from the EU European Commission. And as you see, if we grow, we have now currently 56 partners. So we got additional 7 million uh, euros, additional funding from industry and also from other institutions. And we are currently among 30 universities and research institutions and about 26 industry and two public bodies. So we are quite big. Managing such a big consortium, really providing uh, inputs is certainly not easy if you, everything has to move from um, yeah, direct contacts then to the virtual world. But we mastered this and uh, just give me some highlights of the Concordia project. One certain is, is the service board we created. The service board in terms of how different stakeholders can work together from industry, research, uh, public bodies and so on. How to bring together, how to build an ecosystem of different multi-stakeholders working together. And this stakeholder or the service board is actually a blueprint a blueprint for the national cybersecurity centers that are now uh, established around the member states. And it's important not to, do, not to do only research. It's important to do also industry application to make transformative uh, research. It's necessary to explain uh, to the society why security, how to behave in these times. It's necessary to talk, make interviews all stakeholders, from policy decision makers until the society. 
And what's very important is, of course, women in cyber. We need to attract this. And so it's a rare pleasure that tomorrow we will have awards for the best women for entrepreneurships, for research, and so to supporting and to making really a kickoff of this. And of course, assisting in terms of case, different discussions that we have. We have crisis a lot. Uh, and it's necessary that the research, we bring people together to find the right way, to, way forward. And uh, some highlights, of course, here. Of course, we are researchers, 30 uh, in, uh, universities around Europe and beyond, also from Israel. We have over 300 plus research papers. But this is just one part. We are really proud also of the second part. And these are uh, the pilots. So building threat intelligence for Europe, making DDoS protection for Europe, having five different pilots in terms not only cyber threat um, intelligence, sharing cybersecurity information accord telcos, uh, then also the finance sector, but also have drones for uh, UAVs security, security of e-charging infrastructure and vehicles, and of course, of protection of uh, e-health. So we see that we bring actually both communities together, the researchers and the industry community to work together and to make really prototypes and solutions. And uh, DDoS Clearinghouse nominated for the EC Innovation uh, Radar Prize, um, some highlights Oracle framework for risk analysis, critical steps we need to make, manage crit crisis, actually two, three years ago or before it was not so important. But currently it's much important to manage crisis, to see what are the right steps, what are the smart uh, steps and minimizing also the risks. Uh, we established the Concordia roadmap for cybersecurity to say what are the research uh, parts uh, or the research uh, directions we need to go in front for the next investment, the Digital Euro program, for example, what are the topics that are important. Uh, we built an ecosystem of startups, over 30 plus exploitable results. So a lot of what we invent, what we develop, is uh, seeded in terms of startup creation. Support of stakeholders and, of course, uh, a lot of dissemination in terms of also providing society with blogs, uh, with uh, social media information, why it's important, uh, security, and what are do's and don'ts. And, of course, uh, we built an educational ecosystem so you see here around several institutions providing courses, capture the flag events, ranges, range support, uh, in terms to build a Concordia certified security um, framework. And of course, we use this for teach the teachers. So in not only ground schools, middle schools, so because they need to teach informatics. This is absolutely as important as mathematics from my perspective. So, we need high-skilled people. We don't have it enough. So, we need to train them. And a very good importance here are cyber ranges. We have here five cyber ranges building an ecosystem uh, where we also can export, for example, scenarios from one cyber range to the other, and also data sharing, so that for example, our cyber range can provide for the RISE cyber range, maybe for the 5G flat landscape, um, can exchange uh, uh, scenarios. Yes, and of course, Women for Cyber uh, manifesto here, um, led by Barbara, University of Insubria, NEC, uh, we just need to move forward. So, why is Concordia, and we say, what is the impact now, three years? We see that everything what we did in these three years, like cyber threat intelligence, like ranges, like educational, are parts in building a resilient Europe. So Concordia is really supporting in terms of how to build a resilient Europe. And it is much more than this, uh, what I have said here. There are also nice um, exhibition parts here. Take your time, go around, 
where you can also see the demos uh, and um, the outputs. And visit us at the Concordia H2020.eu and then you can see all the data and all the information we have provided there. So, yesterday the Mr. President uh, of Bavaria, Markus Söder, said there is a Bavarian life, type of life. I can just, just recommend this. <laughs> so we will have our social event at the Hardener Augustiner with very good Augustina beer. And uh, yes, we meet there at seven. And um, you have also the details, uh, get how to get there. We know, uh, you know, cybersecurity is a challenging topic. And so we suggested, let's do it in times of uh, Bauma, where it's a fair trade, where it's a lot of uh, uh, challenges to come there, but the event will be great. You will see. So, and this is also the information to get there. Okay, and this uh, was a short intro uh, in to give you the opening of today's event. Looking forward to have you here. And now I'm very grateful that the State Minister of Digitalization, Ms. Judy Gellert, will give us uh, a welcome speech here in Bavaria because cybersecurity belongs to Bavaria.